Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we are checking out the Insta360 Go. Look at this thing. It is so tiny. I love Insta360 and I love their products, I love their cameras, I love their software, so I'm so excited to check this out. I haven't even opened it yet and I'm so excited. Like this guy's got it clipped on his shirt. I love portability, I love small compact cameras. Anything that makes my traveling lighter is something that I'm into. You just plug it right into your phone. Let's hope that Apple doesn't change to USB-C. I mean, I hope that they do. That's gonna pose a problem for a lot of accessories. Oh, stickers. Oh, more accessories. These just look like different types of mounts. There's so much stuff crammed in this little box. This looks like a little sticky mount and it also says on the back to keep it so you can reapply it. There's another little mount. And this one is really cool. It looks like you can just move this around. It also has a little tripod attachment so you can attach that to here. And these are all just magnetic. And here is the camera. Let's open it up. Look how small this is. I can't believe it. This is just so crazy. It just magnetically attaches to like everything. This is so great. Are you seeing this? This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. So if I wanna attach it to my shirt, look how cool I am. I can't wait to go out and use this. So you just plug it in and it will automatically start importing all of your photos and videos for you. So this is the action button right here. So when the camera is off, it is set to do a little quick capture. So I have it set to do videos. If I press it, this is right now recording a video and it'll record for 30 seconds. And this is me recording the video. This is so crazy that this is a camera. So inside the app, you can set this action button to do multiple things. And it's great because you can edit all of these settings inside of the app, or you can also connect it to Bluetooth. And let's see my picture that I took. I mean, can you say profile pic? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So you go into the settings, here's the camera button settings. So this will show you when the camera is off and you click the quick capture, this will shoot standard video. So you can change it if you want 15 seconds or 30 seconds of length. So that's the Insta360 Go. I am so excited about this camera, mostly just because I think it's gonna be great for getting shots that you normally wouldn't ever be able to get because this camera is so small and compact that you can put it and mount it places that you never could before. And now let's take this out and get some cool shots with it. 3,000 miles from home Trying to say That I will get there soon 30 days I walk down this way Singing my madness to the moon I met a cat on a tree And it talked to me About things we don't see I asked it how do I know which is the right way to go to get And just like that, my sister and I are in Hawaii. I'm so excited to test this thing out here. I've been using this for the past couple of days. And the first thing that I've noticed is this is unlike any other camera that I've ever tested. Because it shoots in 15 to 30 second increments, you have to be thinking completely differently when you're filming. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that one of my highlights though was I dropped this off the side of a mountain and this hike was extremely dangerous. So having this was great because I was completely hands-free unless I knew that I was comfortable enough to be able to use it. But it was great because I could just attach it here, shoot for 30 seconds, get really cool hyperlapses. But it was always right here and easily accessible. It's just like this. My only fear is it's, it's a pretty tight connection, but like, what if we're climbing up rocks and it slips off and falls? Oh no! What? Your camera! Oh my god! That was my biggest fear! Challenge accepted, woman. Oh my god! I told you to watch I know, I know, but hold on, I'm not ready! Was that I was gonna drop the Insta 361 camera, and guess what? I did. Now Jenna's on a rescue We've mission. Got rescue. To save it. <gasps> Be careful. Not all heroes wear capes! 
Who they wear GoPros on their head. Hey, look, I used to come back. I'm not oh my gosh. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. I'm gonna come up a little bit because okay. I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> I can't believe what just happened. <laughs> but I do believe it. I'm sweating so much. Oh my god. It's so important. Was it hypolapsy? I saw it. I saw it tumble. The one thing that has taken a little bit of getting used to is the fact that you get haptic feedback and that's how you know what's happening because there's no screens on here. There is a tiny little light, so that will also give you some indication of what's happening. When it's flashing faster, that's shooting a hyperlapse. When it's flashing consistently slower, that's shooting a video. With this thing, it's kind of a novelty camera. Obviously, it's not something that you can consistently vlog on. It's really easy to import the footage and I love that it'll automatically import all of the footage. So unlike the Insta360 One, where you have to go in and select the different clips that you want to import, this will automatically import everything. It'll also delete all of the footage right from the camera. So there's no SD cards, there's nothing. It's all internal memory. And once you get past the small learning curve of how this actually works, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's also water resistant, which is great because on this hike that we did, I was sweating profusely. We've also had it here at the beach. We've had it around the pool at the house that we're staying at. And it's just a fun little camera. What I'm most excited about is the future iterations of this. If this is where we're at right now, I can only imagine the things that they're working on in the future. One of the good things is this camera is water resistant, so it makes it great for going to the beach, going to the pool. Huh? There's a turtle? Where? Some of the footage that you'll shoot on it is better than other footage, but I love this little AI editing that they have you can create automated little stories. And using AI, it tries to determine which scenes are the best to use out of each clip. It'll automatically make you little tiny stories. And it was really fun to try out because I've shot so much stuff on this already that it just automatically took everything that I filmed and made me this. First look at the Insta360 Go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to sharing some of this stuff on social. So if you guys are following me on Twitter or Instagram, make sure you go check it out there because I'll posting some of the things that I didn't post here on this after I've already edited and posted this video. Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. Running tired and broken and scared, but I swear I'm never... Jenna yelled at me for climbing up this tree, but now I'm curious. What will it look like if I climb up it with the Insta360 Go? Oh, it's so Ready? We did that. And we did that. Jenna hates it. Well, look how close this tree branch is to falling. It's pretty close. 